Hey there, my name is Provis, and welcome to more Rebel Ink Escalation. Today we are dipping our toes in the official scenarios, especially since four more have since been added into the game. That's pretty fun. But we'll start with the first one, and that is Southern Fever. The insurgents aren't the only threat in this hot, humid land. Cases of Southern Fever have been detected across the region, leaving soldiers vulnerable to infection. There's no cure, but the new medic governor can treat soldiers to get them back to strength and stop the inf inspection from spreading any further. Gosh, I just kind of whipped that last sentence. The way this is going to work basically is occasionally your soldiers are going to get a massive uh, combat debuff if they get infected and the only way to cure them is to move them back to the HQ for a quick cure. So your soldiers are going to be cycling back and forth between the front lines and the HQ at least until you get a few uh, initiatives that help reduce the likelihood of infection in the first place. We have a new special governor type, the medic governor, so we can't choose that, but I will go for my fairly standard lineup. I have been using the realist a bit more often these days uh, for Mega Brutal, simply because it is difficult to get a high enough level of stability, especially when you have something else taking up your valuable money. Let's go ahead and play this on Mega Brutal. Gentle Slate seems perfectly fine. And the changing climate means this parasitic infection is endemic to the region. Likely to get infected when deployed and can spread the infection further. Yeah, if your soldiers are close to each other, the odds of them spreading the disease to each other goes up a little bit. Right here we can see the only modifier that reduces their combat effectiveness. And our HQ has been located in one of the least convenient locations possible in the game. Very unfortunate. Now, with any luck, we are going to discover the enemy camps very early on, and hopefully they will be in this corner or in this corner. These are the two easiest to defend against. But of course, given that this is Mega Brutal, you're going to have to face two camps very early on, and discovering both can be a bit of a challenge. If you uh, fail to do so, well, you could always just restart, or you can just, you know, take it like a man and go for it. Let's go for our standard lineup of Intel Gathering. Now, unfortunately, in this location, uh, Gathering Intel is going to be very, very slow and rough. So we're probably not going to discover where the camp could be in this area of the map by the time that the insurgency does fire. That actually complicates this map a lot more than you would think. I mean, you'd think the infection is the real big kicker, but in this case, I'd say that HQ placement is pretty much just as bad, if anything. Let's go ahead and go for that outreach office. We know that there's a few things that are going to be needed on this map. Water is very commonly requested, so we will want to get some of that. Let's go ahead and get that PR media office as well as universal justice. That tends to be a big hit for a lot of people. Get that early game stability going. Um, and then we're going to go for a level of the water supplies. It's just a desert map. It almost always seems to need it. Let's see. Prison reforms. Sure, I could do this. That's a lot of money to lose, though. I can't afford it. Going to go for the limited reforms instead, unfortunately. Um, we do need to get a level of anti-corruption. And then the next thing we probably should do is start working very hard on getting some roads. Right? Roads mean that my soldiers can get off the front lines, get back to the HQ, and get right back into the action a little bit faster. And that really cannot be understated in its importance. We really need a lot of mobility if we can. I'm really hoping we're going to find out the insurgents are off in this general vicinity. Let's get some highways. And the reason for that is this area is all main roads. This area is all highways. So we'll be able to access most of the map just for getting both of those levels. Unfortunately, my HQ is in a dirt road zone. And that in and of itself slows me down quite a bit. So, blech. Not a fan of that. All right. So we did find out they fired up over here. That's actually great. I hope that they actually stay up over here. We'll probably not get lucky with that, but we'll see. I could send a soldier to go and fight them, but I'm fairly confident they will not win. So we're gonna ignore that. I'm keeping an eye out for any sign of another camp in areas I already have with intel. Odds are pretty good. I will not discover that, but we will see. What are people asking for? Telecoms, uh, healthcare, and so on. Well, we can get at least a little healthcare. Telecoms might be a little bit too expensive at this stage. All right, so some fired off over here too. So there's a very good chance that a camp is in one of these mountains. I'm thinking probably right here. So let's pop over here and see what's going on. I'm going to protect this city where I can. But keep in mind, very soon, we're going to see that these guys are going to be getting infected. This is kind of exactly where I wanted some of these guys to stay. I'm hoping that the camp is right here and we can take it out very quickly. We'll see. Let's go for interpreters and guides so we can gather intel quickly. And let's start getting those national soldiers going ASAP. Because we're going to need that. Our first soldier has been infected. So we need to pull off and go to the HQ. Pretty much immediately. Let's see, intel, got to gather this up a little faster. Now, we aren't going to cure up until we get the HQ Field Hospital. This costs $5, and it's going to basically cure the soldier almost immediately once they get to the HQ. Travel time is going to be what kills you here, not the actual disease, all right? So we found the camp. We're hopefully going to take this down before they can spawn much more, and this means that this area is mostly dealt with, mostly. So this is pretty good. 
We can back off over here and try to kick these guys off into the corner, but I don't want to put the soldiers together because the odds of them actually spreading the infection are fairly high. I'm going to end up needing more anti-corruption. I'm a little bit short on cash at the moment, but I think we're also just going to have to accept the corruption to a degree. Let's try to kick these guys back off into a corner. If they're not constantly spawning new enemies, then I'm hoping that they're going to mostly be easily contained in one little area like so. Now, these mountains are a problem. I don't like seeing so many interconnected zones, technically even across the river. If I can get a third uh, soldier, I will happily take this group out. We could make use of coalition soldiers right now, and I should point out that uh, we're only allowed to have three for this entire game, so getting a third one right now might be a little bit overly aggressive. Garrisons might help a little bit, and actually they're extra useful for a number of reasons. This actually helps perfectly, thank you. Um, the reason they're great is because you can also get this Garrison Field Hospital, where soldiers can recover instead of traveling to the HQ, which tr uh, reduces your travel time by a lot, so that ends up being pretty significant too. Let's go for some more anti-corruption. We're going to grab some of those going, and we're almost done with this national soldier, at which point we're going to go ahead and try to kick these guys out. Unfortunately, there is the first round of problems. Now, they're pushing into the city. Unfortunately, I can't fight them while infected. My strength is significantly reduced, so we have to go back over here. I'm going to go ahead and get these uh, garrison HQs, which will cure this guy immediately. Then we're going to pop in over here and send my national soldiers, and we're going to try to clear this out as fast as we can. Don't let them get the city if we can avoid it. It's always terrible. And unfortunately, it looks like we did not move fast enough and we have pushed them into the wrong spot. Hold the foam. Back her up. This is not where I want them to be. I want them to go back into this corner. That's the easiest spot for me to deal with them. What else are people asking for? Man, they want telecoms. All right, fine. Go ahead and start working on that. We've got to get those support levels going. I would like to take care of the whole foreign rival thing, if possible. Please tell me these guys are going to retreat back up over there. Uh, my mouse is acting weird. There we go. All right, so let's go for foreign relations. There are some other things we can get. Anti-parasitics does increase support level, and you can level this up further, which reduces the likelihood of infection in the first place, which can be good for obvious reasons. So we would like to get some of that. We are struggling to face these guys in the mountains. Um, yeah, that's, that's an issue. Oh, boy. Um, okay, well, I, I really don't like what I'm seeing with corruption being what it is, but what else do people want? Dirt roads, mostly. Tell you what, we'll go ahead and get the dirt roads. That's useful to me regardless. No, don't go in that corner. Gosh, dang it. All right, well, we're going to have an issue here. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of this whole connected zones thing. At the very least, we can remove that. Let's go over here and try to reinforce, because I don't want to pull off or I lose some reputation. And they're going to spread the infection further, which sucks, but as long as we win this fight and get them to retreat, we can pull back. Hopefully, it's going to be fine. Okay. Uh, what else we want to do? Well, airstrikes would help a little bit. I think I'm going to go for the anti-corruption a little bit further, because that is costing me some reputation for no reason. These guys got infected, moved to the HQ. You guys can pull back. Let's just do this. The good news is that they cure instantly. And a garrison right here solves my problems. So now we're not going to have any strength issues, at least fighting in this city. These guys we can consider to be fully contained. Excellent. All right. Coalition soldiers going to be ending deployment soon. That's not grand, but oh well. Um, we can try to fight some of these guys and reduce some of their strength. That said, um, is it worth doing that right now? Probably not. I want them to stay in this corner, and the second we get out here with more troops, we're going to have to continue facing them. How are we doing as far as roads? We should be doing okay. We're also meeting most demands, so we're looking all right on that front. I do need to train up more national soldiers, unfortunately. And we're going to have to sack some of our reputation, as we often do on Mega Brutal in order to keep these guys. We'll be towing the line a little bit. We'll be getting down there. Uh, I do not want these guys taking this city. So let's get down here and try to protect this. Prevent them from taking that area, because that's obviously not great. They're going to get it. But we can prevent them from doing too much more. Yeah, we're great over here. This is no issue at all. Completely fine on that front. Let's go for strategic communications. Boost up that support level. We need to start seeing more stabilized zones. That helps a little bit. Just a couple more here and there. Getting some of these cities and stuff under control. This is where things start to get a little bit more stable. So as long as we hold this choke point, we're fine. You go ahead and back off to the garrison real quick. Problem solved. We're cured. Thank you. All right. With four soldiers, I can clear out this group entirely. Although, let's keep in mind that uh, if they don't control very many zones, the uh, game seems to like spawning new camps randomly around the map. So uh, trying to get these guys down to like zero control too early on sometimes works against you, weirdly enough. I know. It's kind of bizarre. Uh, let's see, as far as our corruption, meh. Let's go ahead and get anti-parasitics. You can see that this would lead to anti-parasitics level 2, which uh, reduces the chance of soldiers being infected, as long as they are in stable zones. Now, that's where this starts being less useful. Stable zones, I mean, meh. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll probably not be fighting in stable zones too often. 
Uh, we're gonna go ahead and sack a bit more extension, uh, sorry, reputation, since I did stabilize a few more zones. We're gonna let these guys get into place in the mountains first. Mm, we'll go for some significant funding, I think, unfortunately, which does cost me a lot of money and corruption. I want to get these guys in position so we can pull these guys back real quick, get in position, and try to kill these guys off before they become a problem. Go ahead and retreat back into your stupid caves. Get into those mountains. That's right. You go and hide. There we go. And these guys are infected, but it's fine. They're taken care of. Perfect. Let's go ahead and move you guys over here. Remove the infection entirely, and there we go. Okay, what else is going on over here? More subtle pressure? Sure, that's fine. What about over here? Threatened to gain some reputation? Yes, we'll antagonize these guys, but it'll give me a little bit more room to breathe. Uh, we're now having issues over in this direction. Okay, hang on. Let's go ahead and start moving some soldiers in position to get these guys out of here. This is where I wish we had a few more... Uh, this garrison's not great, but I guess I'll take it. I uh, wish I had a few better uh, better roads uh, over here in order to take these guys down faster, but oh well. The good news is with plenty of garrisons and stuff, we can move around really quick uh, to cure our soldiers. So we're not going to have too much trouble, and these guys will get cleared out right away. There we go. They didn't even manage to take this uh, zone. That's fantastic. So what else do we want? Well, people want electricity. I don't necessarily agree with that. I think roads are more important, so we can move around faster. Mobility, mobility, mobility. That's the name of the game. Let's go ahead and move down over... Here, I see a camp. We want to take that out quick. Uh, and we can start moving forward with my coalition soldiers, but what I really want to do, probably, is go for a level of civil assistance and start rolling out initiatives and stabilize a few more zones while we can. Let's take out this camp nice and quick. Hopefully they don't even have a chance to spawn anything. We could get airstrikes, and that speeds things up even further. Not going to worry about that yet. Take that out. Boom. Perfect. That was nice response time. That's what we like to see. Uh, let's go ahead and start getting me some extra support in these zones. We're just going to hold on to this. See, that guy got cured, like, right away. Perfect. More soldiers would be nice. You know what else would be nice? More anti-corruption. Yep, yep. We like burning that down faster, so I stop sacking any more of my reputation. This is just the dream right here. I mean, if you don't manage to get your first round of insurgents spawning in this corner, you may want to end up just restarting this on Mega Brutal. I'm not saying it's impossible to win. I'm just saying it's a lot harder. So I don't like that. Um, I guess we can go ahead and cure these guys real quick. It shouldn't take very long. There we go. But I don't think we technically care if they're infected as long as their entire job is just building out new stuff. That doesn't matter too much. Let's go ahead and train up some new replacement soldiers, a couple of them, since I'm probably not going to keep these uh, coalition soldiers for much longer. No sign of extra camps yet, though these mountains will probably be a good candidate for them. See, this guy wants to leave now, and that's that's not what I wanted, but oh well. We'll hold on to him for as long as we can. Let's go ahead and get more of that civil integration going, so we roll out a few more initiatives. Looking for more stability, and these guys now have to get sent home. That guy's going to leave me very soon, that's why we had to train up some more reinforcements. This guy's been infected, but I don't think it matters too much. Does the infection prevent these guys from rolling out initiatives? And that's a thing I don't know. We're going to have to let the National Soldiers take over from here. Um, how are we doing as far as the stability of the zone? Mostly good. Mostly. Uh, we managed to stabilize a few mountains, which is surprising. You usually don't get that first. Let's go ahead and send you home, move you up here. We're going to hold this area with the garrisons. This should not be too difficult. This area is almost stable. This area is almost stable. We're getting there. We're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. Just keep holding this city. Uh, we could get some security and stuff going, too, and that wouldn't be half bad. But you know what else I'd like to do? Just get some more stability and also just prevent these guys from getting infected in the first place, if possible. Yeah, reduce the chance of them getting infected, especially from other soldiers. Basically, everyone practices their social distancing, and we don't have any problems. See? Garrison here. Now, why garrison there? That makes me wonder if there's a camp right here that I already don't, I don't know about yet. Uh, that concerns me. There could be a camp here. Garrisons usually get placed based off of where the enemy is currently located. But I don't I don't think so. 6% chance of danger. Well, there it is. Wow. Wow. Really, though? Come on, game. That was just so unnecessary right there. So unbelievably unnecessary. But they did it to me. They did me dirty. All right. Well, let's go ahead and stabilize this zone a little bit faster using my national soldiers. Uh, faster travel time would be nice. Oh my god, that support level really did go down completely. It's been absolutely obliterated. Yeah, that's 6% chance, man. Um, that's a problem. <laughs> the odds of that, not very good. Uh, and yet, and yet, we got messed up pretty bad. So we lost a little bit of reputation here, but that's because this zone was stabilized. We'll fix this up and get it right back in a moment. No problem at all. Did we lose stability over here? We are actively losing stability in a few zones now. Good god. That's just so bad. Telecoms, too. We gotta start really investing our money in that. Unfortunately, my corruption's terrible. Let's go ahead and purge that down a couple times. 
That'll help a little bit. And let's go ahead and start getting like some security operations and stuff. 26% chance? I think not. Look, we tried to talk, dang it. We tried to talk. Nobody has any regional concerns anymore. That's good at least. Good lord. 6% chance. That's just so unfair. So unfair. But all right, you know what? The game does that sort of thing sometimes. Uh, let's go for some jobs. I'm thinking we want to get the development bank and then go for those remote subsidies since those are the people who are going to have the most trouble. Yes, yes, we're infected with all of our soldiers. I don't think it matters. All I care about is getting these zones stable. Got that. Let's go ahead and move you back up over here. Get you cured and then we'll go ahead and stabilize this. Once every zone is stabilized, of course, that's when you start moving your soldiers in for the kill. And you sit there and you just be patient. Don't go crazy. 14% chance, huh? Hmm, I don't know about that. Let's just try to open up talks. Uh, sur surges. Ooh, um, well, hmm. I don't really need the national soldiers. I'm gonna go for the civilian surge, believe it or not, which is, yeah, it's gonna cause corruption, but hopefully at least gets my support level back up to something reasonable. So we've managed to undo our horrible error from before. That's good. That feels real good. Let's go for that remote subsidy. Let's go for some polio vaccinations and stuff. This place has been taken care of. Let's go ahead and move over here. Get cured, and now we're going to start working in the mountains. All right, so now we got to start pushing this. My reputation is still dangerously low, uh, considering. Let's go ahead and ban them and start burning that back up. Yep, they're going to cancel negotiations, at least temporarily. Found a camp. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to click on. Let's go for the airstrikes and just go ahead and knock that out which should hopefully reduce some of their strength a little bit. Now, I don't have very strong national soldiers because we have not invested in their guns, like, at all. So we should probably go ahead and fix that and go for some serious upgrades to their weaponry. And the airstrikes will probably get me what I need from the rest of that. Uh, now we go ahead and start moving forward, I think, with a few more units. Hopefully we win this fight. And we provide some reinforcements back and forth. These guys, we're just waiting on them. They'll be done very soon. This garrison's unnecessary, but all right, we'll go ahead and build it anyway. And, oh, look who decided to spawn some more stuff. Uh, all right. This is where I wish I had some security. Um, I can try to... Uh, mm, let's try to imprison. Um, just try to tread water a little bit more with this reputation. We're really struggling here. I'm not going to lie. It shouldn't be this hard, and yet here we are. Uh, we could get some more national coalition soldiers. Sorry, and that would help. Security wouldn't be a bad investment at this point if they're going to start spawning up random ones here and there. I mean, this is mega brutal difficulty, so that sort of thing does tend to happen. Uh, we will go for some extensive aid, which increases support level by a lot. I'm hoping to chase these guys over here. Perfect. These guys can't run if they're in a blockaded zone, so we're going to go ahead and take care of that. The infections are starting to mess me up. Yep. Um... Let's go over some more local police expansion. Uh, I don't really want to pull back on these fights if I don't have to. Okay, that got taken care of, so this will be cleared back up very quickly. There we go. More subtle pressure. Um, so I need to cycle these guys out. The problem is it's going to cost me reputation to do so. We have to take that risk. Go over here. Get back to the garrisons. Uh, we could go for stronger reinforcements for our garrisons, and that might help a smidge. But yeah, every time you have to retreat from battle due to soldier infections, you're going to be very sad. That's why we wanted to try and reduce the likelihood of this being a problem in the first place. Uh, we may have to start pushing for some heavier ordnance on our airstrikes to try and win some of these fights, since, good lord, these guys got infected immediately. Wow. So unfair. Uh, all right, let's go for more rapid airstrikes so we can bomb them faster and try to win. I just need to win a fight so I can pull this guy back. That's all we need to do. Win this fight, pull back, and we're good. This is what I'm looking for. There we go. They're going to retreat. Hand in all your weapons. There we go. Okay, starting to get there. You are going to clear the zone out. There we go. Now we retreat you, bring you up here, and boom. Okay, now we're back to full strength. We're going to win this fight, and then you can pull these guys back. Well, at least it looked like we were going to until they brought in a whole lot more. Holy crud. That's a lot of insurgents. Oh, and we're infected again. God. Yeah, this is where this, this scenario can start to become a little irritating and tedious, you know? It's just, wow, these guys get infected so stinking fast. Um, there's not much more we can invest in at this point. I mean, we can go for anti-parasitics, but it's not going to do me a lot of good. Let's go ahead and grab that democratic transition, try to farm out just a little bit of extra uh, reputation. International forces can remain. There aren't any, but that's beside the point. It's the principle of the thing. Dang it, it's the principle. Uh, if we can take this zone while they just pulled a lot of their troops out, maybe we can get a huge kill right here. Eh, nope, they're going to be able to retreat. Fair enough. We're going to prioritize elections, and there's a chance that they are going to disrupt them. Oh, we found a camp. Well, let's go ahead and knock that down nice and quick. And there's the infection once again. Mm. Let's tighten the rules. I really can't afford for the airstrikes to mess me up here. Let's pull you back. And, yeah, these infections are just... Oof. 
you have any infections in your units and they just make everyone so sick. Just had to pull that back there. There we go. Get that back under control. What's this? Alright, increase pay. Make these guys a little stronger. That'll help. And yeah, we can invest in some faster mobility for our units. Alright, so go ahead and move you there. Say you're sorry. They reject this. Alright, fine. We're not going to get a great score here. There's no doubt about it. Uh, we're going to go for full elections. Pray that this doesn't go against me. There we go. Five more reputation. Thank you. Alright, so we're able to fight this back. Now we try to push back over here. With any luck, we get garrisons in either of these locations, and then we don't even have to worry about getting cured. If they get sick, they just get immediately cured. That's kind of what you're going for at this point. Slowly but surely, keep pushing. Don't give up. Just keep going. You'll be fine. Let's go for some of those remote subsidies. Try to stabilize these zones a little bit faster. This is a rural zone, unfortunately, so we don't have that yet, but that's fine. I need garrisons. Badly. I also need more airstrikes. Badly, please. Uh, let's keep the rules unchanged. 38% chance is perfectly acceptable to me. And there's an infection. Alright, before this guy has a chance to fight much more... Hey, a garrison. Okay, never mind. I was gonna have to pull him back, but now we don't need to. Better. Even better. Alright. Let's go ahead and swap you guys out. Take care of that infection quickly before it can get more people infected. Uh, I am a little surprised that these guys are losing this fight. Granted, we've allowed these guys to have a lot of strength. They've built up so many camps. So many camps. Uh, the garrisons will certainly help. Um, getting more airstrikes will help. Uh, we can probably go for things like combat sensors for our drones. And that'll make it a lot easier to finish some of these guys off as well. Just keep knocking down these camps. Come on, you've almost got it. You can do it, you can do it. There's an infection. Gosh dang it, reducing strength by a lot. Ugh. It's a rough scenario. It can be. It's not the worst. There are much worse to come. I promise you. I have tried, but... Yeah, we'll be alright. So that takes care of the camp at the very least, so that's good. Let's go for more frequent uh, drones, so we can try to go for that extra combat strength over here. I just want to be able to pull back. Come on. Ah, stop sending in reinforcements, you jerk! <laughs> He's not leaving me a lot to work with now, is he? Uh, alright, let's see. Zone security and stuff? Sure, we could do that. We can make our garrisons better, so we can just stabilize this zone a heck of a lot faster. This is a little bit tedious, isn't it? Um, and we can't even make much progress on the peace deal. Well, we're going to go ahead and reject and just start farming out some um, some reputation at this point. And of course that antagonizes them, so it doesn't really help me too much. Yep, nothing to do except for just sort of sit back here and enjoy. So I'm just going to I'm just going to jump forward at this point. And there we go. No problem. All right. 53 reputation by the end of this is not fantastic, but it is mega brutal. So yeah, I'll work with it for now, but yeah, it's a pretty fun scenario. Um, the challenge of having to move your units around and beg them not to get sick while in the middle of combat is Kind of difficult to work around, but it's fun. It's certainly a fun scenario, and I'd say a very, very good start to this campaign of official scenarios. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.